welcome back everyone to some Super Mario Maker. And as I said in the previous video, I wanted to do puzzles and I was going to do Tomedy puzzles. Disclaimer, I'm not gonna, I'm probably not the best, I'm, okay, I am not the best at puzzles, okay? I am not incredibly confident in my, um, whoa, what? I'm not incredibly confident in my mechanic knowledge for Mario. So, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm just gonna go the first one I see. Puzzle, 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 puzzle. All right. So I've never done or seen these puzzles and hopefully I was supposed to do that. All right, I, I can't see why I wouldn't do this. So I'm gonna do that. Sorry, my camera's in the way of some stuff. Uh, oh, I'm glad I looked at that. <laughs> Um, unless I needed him, the turtle up there, but I can get him up there, so that's not that big of a deal, right? Yeah. Oh, but I can't get up there unless I shelter him. And should I... Alright, let's just fiddle-faddle around for a second. And see if this is on the right track. So, looks like we need to get through that door. Somewhere is a key, maybe with that fish. And to get there, we probably need to stack the two pa- or, wait. Whoa, hold on. Oh, I see a... I see the coin actually in the saw up there. So we need to get that coin. Um, I can do that with the shell. I know what to do, I think. Think. So first, ooh, how am I gonna get that though? Oh, okay. Um, thought it was too deep. Thought it was too deep. I'm just gonna test something real quick. I don't think I can run over a P switch, right? No, it has to be the has to be the pal. Okay, so here is what needs to be done. I need to use a spring. Well, I guess I can do that real quick. I'm pretty sure this is what you do. Use a spring to get that. That stays there. And I need to drop the pal. Onto the saw. I need to. I need to get both P switches over to the top right because I need to get through. You know, I need both of them to get through that last section. And it would appear I need the spring in order to get up there. And the reason I had to throw the shell over there is because I can grab it. And, oh, wait. I was wondering what the point of, oh my god. I'm going to start over because I might have messed something up. So, does this, fuck. <laughs> I forgot about that. So I'm pretty sure that I need to get this down here. Somehow. Fuck, I keep forgetting about that. Because I need to spring up the sideways spring so that when I throw the shell from the top right. Oh my god. When I throw the shell from the top right, it'll hit the spring and go back to where the flames are so it can hit the pal down where the saw would be at that point, if that makes sense. Okay, so I got the key, put the pal down there. Now I just gotta figure out how to get the P switch. And the spring over there. 
Can I just throw the P-switch over there? I mean, I'm gonna, I might as well try, I guess, right? Oh my god. Actually. Let's put that there. Ooh, that wasn't bad. That's not gonna work, though. Oh well. Might as well... Might as well try. So do that. Oh! I didn't notice that. And by that, I mean... The fact that... I didn't notice the fact that that background thing was there, because I was going to just drop the shell down that way, but even still, the spring would be blocking it, because I'm a moron. Okay, so... I think we know how to do everything except for get the stupid spring up there. If we can somehow get the spring... Oh, finally. God, that took forever. I, mean, I can't quite reach, but what if I just... Shit. Hmm. Okay, well... <laughs> that's progress. So, we need to... Will this work? Will this support the spring? So, if, oh my god, if I, can, if I can get up there! If I do this... <laughs> then... No! Quit going on top of it! Oh my god. This is the worst, actually. <laughs> Literally the worst. <laughs> hey! Probably not how you're supposed to do it, but fucking finally. Oh, but I can't move it. Oh, that better be enough for that. <sighs> uh. That would be enough for it to- oh my god, go through. Or hit, I mean. The shell, that is. No, god damn it. Okay. So throw that through there. Okay, so we, we're back to where we were before. Um, now, just need to throw this P switch over there. And if this isn't, if this doesn't work, I don't know, man. I'm gonna be sad. All right, and go over here back, drop this in there, go down he Ooh! here, that can go right here, watch this fucking fish kill me, that can go there, Ooh! oh my god! <laughs> You know, I'm starting to think I actually should get rid of that blue platform. That might actually be the difference between um, making that shell throw and not making it. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it just in case. Jump over. Oh, my dear God. All right. <laughs> Drop that down there. Now, let's try to not m mess this all up. Alright, so... Don't get killed by the fish. Set that right there. Set that one there. Alright, you better grab the shell, Mario, I swear. Alright, now, hopefully, this will do... Wait, won't... I don't know, let's find out. I'm gonna place it here and hope that, oh, hope that it uh will kind of like 
affect the movement of the spring? Well, if it was going to, uh, it's not now. Wait, I can, Ugh, this is sketchy. Oh my God, no! So I think instead, hold, let me not actually get this. Yeah, there we go. That uh, looks a lot better. Okay, how am I gonna get this though? I guess I can't fall off the edge, though. Or can I? Uh, I don't know. Stop it! Alright, I'm gonna... Ooh, okay. That was, that, was, ooh, that was dangerous. This has to be it. If it's not, I... Uh, I don't know. Nothing, honestly. <laughs> I don't have anything to go off that. Ooh! I didn't mean to get this. Throw that right there. Get this open, go in here. No! Oh my god, everything's going wrong! Hmm. I'm gonna go this way. I don't wanna hit that fucking shell. That oh, god. oh my god. Fucking great. Oh, thank god. Alright. Let's go up here. Can you can you not? Can you can you not? Set this fuck man. Um here I guess. Take this spring. Stop. Stop. Okay, so if it, if I go on this side, alright. That works, that's better. It's a little uh, counterintuitive, but it's okay. So, <laughs> now, wait for that to go. Jump off up on, jump up on the left side for some reason. Put that there. Grab the shell. Jump up, throw that to there. Oh, no, 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 put that down. Put that down, Zachary. Grab that. Throw that. Put that down. Ah, uh, that is not in a great spot. The other pal. Or the other P. Get this. Throw that down there. We are good to give this another shot. How am I gonna grab that? <laughs> like that. Oh my god. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, grab the shell. Please, please grab the shell. Thank you. What? Oh, the choke, the choke. So I managed to put the P-switch in terrible spot again. Oh my god. The chokes and fails are so real in this one. They have been exquisite. All right. Can we choke again? Will I set the record for most fucking chokes? <laughs> Grab that. Yes. Oh, it doesn't fall down there. Sad, Zack is sad. Thought he knew what he was doing. He did not. Okay. No! Oh wait, good. Oh my god. Is it getting faster? <laughs> that was entirely 100% luck but I'll take it. All right, so I was thinking maybe you had to do it like that to get the shell back. And then you drop this down here, and then you drop this on top so that you can grab it. Or do you think I can grab that? I don't know, let's... Only one way to find out, right? All right, so we're over here. Uh... Put this here, I guess. <laughs> I cannot grab that. You know, something I didn't think about is the fact that hitting the POW causes the coins to fall. So if I use the P-switch and then activate the POW, I only need one P-switch. 
So what do I use the other one for? Because you have to put the pal down by that saw. That's the only way to pass. And... So this has to be it. And then you have to go up there and throw the shell down. It has to bounce off that spring. It just doesn't go down there because of... Well... I guess if we were to put the P-switch over there... Like that... It should fall, I think. I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, I don't know. Let's let's try that. Let's see how it goes. Put this here for now. Does the shell bounce off of? I'm just trying to think. Like, because of the fish, I don't think we're supposed to just. I mean, maybe we could dodge it. But I mean, if I just hit it with the shell and it just bounces off the the thing. I'm pretty sure it does, hopefully. <laughs> I'm about to find out. Oh my god! <gasps> Hit the switch! That's it, right? My... Oh my god! How the fuck am I going to dodge this? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to get it through there. Yes! <laughs> I just... I'm a fucking idiot. I got the checkpoint there, so I could have killed myself and gotten it. I didn't need to do it all over again. Ugh. I wonder how close that was to the world record. Because I feel like I did it pretty quickly, but... I don't know. I did hesitate in a couple things, so... Let's see. 23 seconds? What? That was like two thirds of me making stupid fucking mistakes and killing myself in the dumbest ways. I hope that you got a laugh out of it because, oh my god, was that annoying. Well, it was beaten. I mean, barely. Fuck, man. I was like. I didn't know how hard it was, like, since I hadn't heard of him, like, too much. Here and there I heard of him. I was hoping he wasn't, like, some crazy, like, difficult one, which he probably isn't, honestly. Like, I mean, I figured it out pretty quickly, it's just execution was wrong, and I had one piece missing, which was, I, I kept assuming I needed both uh, piece switches when I only needed one. But, I guess it wasn't too hard to figure out, but the execution was not there very on my part. So, I was hoping to get, like, two or three puzzles through but uh looks like it's just one you know i wanted to say real quick because um i look through the comments a lot in my videos and w when i look through the comments obviously the video is playing as well because i'm typically looking at my phone and in my last video my little thing right here this little like dot i'm kind of surprised no one's asked about it because typically when things stand out the internet likes to point it out <laughs> I'll share a little story with you. Uh, my niece actually threw a rock in a fire when I was camping one day, one night, whatever. And fun fact, rocks, I don't—I can't remember if it's because it was dry or there's moisture in it, but they explode. And uh, this rock blew up in the fire and a sh shard landed right here and it was all, ah, and I was like being, you know, exercised. Um, so that was a thing and now I have this, so that's cool. And since I'm on the topic, I might as well explain this one. This. Well, it's not as visible, but on my nose, uh, my friend had a tree in his front yard, which it was kind of like a Christmas tree where there's branches going on all directions through, like, from almost towards the very bottom to the very top. And this tree was probably about, oh, 20 feet tall. And I would climb near the top and I put on my jacket, which is a pretty thick jacket. But I put my jacket and I put on the hood and I just fall out of the tree and I'd like, <laughs> I'd be hitting all the branches all the way down, which would be cushioning my landings, but also like getting beaten up by it. But I played football all the time, so it didn't really hurt. But somewhere in there, my face hit a branch and I hit the floor. I was like, whoa, that was something. And he's like, your face is bleeding. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, Bleh. I'm like, <laughs> like Bleh, spitting blood, like because it's dripping down on my face. So that's how I have this little scar. I just kind of figured at some point or another, I'd be asked about that. And that's how it happened. Anyway, sorry if you didn't care about those things, but, you know. 
is pretty much what I have to say about that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Super Mario Maker. I know uh, I wasn't that good at it. I definitely have a lot to learn in terms of puzzles and like how things work and I don't know. I'm just I just have a lot of room to improve in that. Platforming, I guess I'm okay with, but puzzles I have a long way to go. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Super Sonic. Wow. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Super Mario Maker, and I'll see you in the next video.